guys, welcome to week 11 of my pregnancy vlogs. Um, I actually don't really know exactly what week I am yet, or anymore. Um, I went to the doctor, I went to my OB for a an early scan on last Tuesday. And um, so I thought by then I was like 10 weeks, yeah, 10 weeks one day. And um, he did the scan and everything was fine and we got to see the heartbeat, not hear it yet because it was still very, very early. Um, to hear it, I think we would have needed a Doppler, he said. So um, we saw it beating away and it was really, really cool. And there's only one baby, so I was so relieved. Um, but it was so nice to just see on the screen. It was tiny, tiny little bean. I actually have a scan, um, the scan picture with me. I brought it to show you guys. So that's what our little baby looks like. Um, and so he said he was going to do like try and do an estimation or try and see what the computer estimated because um, I only had two periods postpartum after having Amelia and they were both completely sporadic. Like one was like way over here, one was way over here, you know, it was like completely different. Um, and they weren't even like exactly a month apart or anything like that. I think I got my first one at mm, maybe eight months postpartum or or yeah, eight months post postpartum and then I skipped a month and then I had another one at 10 months or something like that. It was like, I can't remember exactly, but it was um, definitely two very, very different periods. Um, also, I'm still breastfeeding and I was when I got pregnant, so that's making it quite difficult to figure out exactly when um, I'm due. So I told him what I thought I was due and um, he said he would check on the computer. And then he never actually ended up telling me because um, I think either we got sidetracked or maybe he does not feel, I just, I never got to even ask him. Amelia was there and she was kind of the center of attention because um, she was just really being really cute and just herself. So um, we kept getting distracted. but. Um, I, I'm pretty sure he would have told me if it was something important, but um, either it's that he didn't feel that it was necessary to change it because it was quite a small like difference or he just he forgot or I forgot to ask him. So um, I didn't get to find out whether my due date was changed yet. Um, so at the moment I'm still going off March 24th, but um, then I, when I saw the scan photo it says here um, GA nine weeks, zero days. So that's what the computer estimated me to be when I should have been like 10 weeks in one day. And then it says estimated due date is um, April 1st, 2014. So it's like a week's difference. So I'm not sure if I'm actually 10 weeks today or if I'm 11 weeks, but I, again, until he changes it, I'm, I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna keep going this way. I mean, one week doesn't really make a difference. So we're just gonna call this 11 weeks, even if it's maybe really 10. <laughs> so um, this week was a lot better than last week, I'm happy to report, because last week was pretty brutal um, in terms of morning sickness and all that kind of thing. I don't think I have 100% energy back. Um, I still feel tired throughout the day. Like, I'll feel tired kind of um, in, it's weird, it's like in the mid-morning, Usually, actually, around the times when Amelia has her her naps, um, and she's kind of well, she's kind of down to more so one big nap a day rather than two, which is scary because she used to be doing two, and um, that was I feel like this kind of marks her, you know, transitioning from baby to toddler. So that's weird, but um, yeah. So she's taking like we'll say one big nap a day. Um, and then going down at about nine or half nine at night. Um, and that's working out really well for us for the most part, but there's in that time in the afternoon, like around this time right now, where um, it's like four or five o'clock and I get super tired and I need, like I feel like I need to just go to sleep. <laughs> so um, it's still not 100% back, my energy, um, but you know, it's getting there. And definitely the morning sickness, has eased off a good bit like I can't really complain about that much anymore and I'm so glad that that seems to be over so hopefully it is um <sighs> cravings I haven't well it's mostly still like savory things rather than sweets like I find myself 
not even really wanting desserts and stuff. I mean, okay, I still eat them and <laughs> let's not lie or anything. I, st I definitely still eat them. Um, but for the most part, I just feel like I'm, I want like chips, crisps, um, anything salty, like cheese. I don't know. It's like, it's weird. It's so different than last time. And last time it was oranges, which is a fruit and it's sweet. Um, and this time around, I just don't have any of those. Cra it's all salty. It's so weird. Uh, Mexican food as well. Although I had an, um, not an enchilada. No, what was it? I can't remember. Um, oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. Was it an enchilada? No, it wasn't. That's what I'm making tonight. Oh, my head's all over the place. It was like, oh, a burrito. It was the first time I ever had a burrito in my life. And it was so gross, but I think it was because it wasn't really made right. Like, it, I mean, not that it wasn't made right, but it wasn't like a proper, like, burrito. It was an Irish burrito, so it probably wasn't right. Um, but I don't know, it just, it really put me off and I felt so sick after. But aside from that, I haven't been feeling sick for any other reason. Um, so weight-wise, um, I went up to 118 again, so I went up a pound from the one that I lost last week, so I was happy with that because um, I do want to be gaining weight, like I don't want to just, you know, don't want to lose weight. Um, I don't really think that's healthy for, well at least for me, in terms of like for pregnancy. Last time around I, I did gain quite consistently and like slowly as well, so I want to do that the same if possible. Um, so I'm up 118. I still haven't done measurements. I'm sorry. I know people were like, you need to do measurements. It's interesting. All I know is that my waist was about 26, 20, yeah, about 26 inches before I got pregnant, I think. Um, it was about that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I haven't really, I haven't taken anything um, since then. Um, what else? I'm still breastfeeding Amelia twice a day, but I don't actually mind that. I don't feel that it tires me out too much. Um, so that's okay. Um, and what else? I don't think I really... Oh, there's one thing that I wanted to point out. So last pregnancy, I had this really cool symptom, which was... And I don't think I even talked about it much in my videos, but um, my leg hair stopped growing. Like, completely stopped growing. And now, I don't know if this is even a normal pregnancy symptom but it was so amazing I didn't have to shave my legs the entire pregnancy and I was so hoping that the same thing would happen this time around because like hello I'm lazy and I don't want to have to shave my legs every week or whatever so um this time around I was totally expecting that I stopped shaving my legs and then I looked down the other day and I was like oh I guess that's not happening this time around but one thing I will say is my skin is clearer than last time. I remember this time last pregnancy, my skin was breaking out all over the place, and while it did break out a little bit in the beginning, it's definitely nowhere near as bad as last time. So that's kind of interesting. I wish I got the leg hair, no leg hair thing again, because that was so cool. Um, also, I feel like, well, maybe it's because I have shorter hair now or something like that. Maybe that's probably it, but I feel like last time my nails and my hair were growing like so so long so so quickly but this time my nails are splitting a lot which is weird because I'm taking my prenatals and everything um, my hair is not you know extra dry or anything um, and maybe it's just that it's short that I think it's growing slower but definitely I've noticed my nails are splitting and that's weird because last time I could grow my nails like super long without even trying so that's kind of interesting um, I think that's pretty much it in terms of symptoms and everything like that, I definitely popped out because you could tell that I'm pregnant now with my clothes on. Like when I have, I like I have a prominent bump. So I'm gonna show you guys the belly. That's what it looks like with my t-shirt on. Now this is a maternity t-shirt um, and I feel that I need it. I feel that I definitely um, can get away with wearing this already, which is crazy. I'm wearing maternity jeans as well, so. This is the belly for 11 weeks from the side and the other side and I think this is a lot bigger than last time definitely I mean I know we've kind of established that but it's definitely bigger so that was my pregnancy vlog for 11 weeks um, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out my blog for bump updates and also my Instagram. I'll be doing them on there too. Um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.